there's a lot of new and interesting features in Microsoft Copilot. So if you don't know what it is, don't worry, stick around. I'm going to give you a very high level overview of what Microsoft Copilot is, but also what's new and take a look at some of those new features and some of the new, you know, layout UI UX things. All right. If you're new here, don't worry. I'll tell you what's going on. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn generative AI so we can all use it to grow our companies and to grow our careers. So if that sounds like you, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Um, and also let me know in the comments if you have any more questions or what you want to hear, and then go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, let's take a look at Copilot and I'll explain what it is. All right, so it used to be kind of confusing because there's this Bing chat and then there's Microsoft 365 Copilot, but now it's easy. There's a free Copilot, um, which you can anyone can use on the web. Then there is Copilot Pro, which is $20 a month that allows you to use a lot of these Copilot features across Microsoft's apps. And then there's Microsoft 365 Copilot, and that's essentially enterprise level. Uh, so you're using, um, you know, with all, you know, all your coworkers using, uh, you know, Teams chatting with Copilot across all, um, all of your uh, enterprise level data. All right, so right now we're just looking at the free version of Microsoft Copilot. So you can just go to copilot.microsoft.com. All right, so a lot of newer things under the hood. All right, so you can go ahead and uh, kind of click through here, just like any most any other large language model, at least ChatGPT um, or Gemini, and it kind of gives you um, you know different uh, starter prompts that you can do. Uh, so that's not what I want to uh, draw your attention to right now. Uh, so uh, just just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Copilot, the free version, just started rolling out what they're calling Copilot GPTs. I know it's confusing. The word GPTs, OpenAI Open AI does not own it, um, but obviously Microsoft and OpenAI are partners. Um, so these are different Copilot GPTs. So by default, it is just the Copilot. Then you have this designer, which I'm going to do uh, another video on. Then you have a vacation planner, cooking assistant, and fitness trainer. So essentially, these are just tuned a little bit differently to be more helpful in these different areas. Um, so let's just say, as an example, let's just try something in uh, Copilot. Let's let's get meta here, right? So uh, I'm going to say, um, I'm actually going to even try to use the uh, the voice feature here. So we'll see if this actually works. What's the difference between Copilot Free, Copilot Pro, and Microsoft 365 Copilot? All right, I think I hit uh, the end key a little too quick, but that's fine. Um, so there we go. It's going to go through. It's going to hopefully do a good job at answering my question, especially since it's Copilot. So it should know the difference. All right. So, yep, it's, it's nailing it. You know, unlike when you ask Gemini what Gemini is, and it Gives you some uh, examples of cryptocurrency. All right, so at least we're getting the basics here uh, with Copilot. That's great. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at one of these other kind of uh, GPTs. And again, these are kind of new. All right, so I'm going to go into Vacation Planner. And I'm just going to say, help me plan a, a nine-day trip to Barcelona. And I'm going to say, I want to see um, some cultural things. But um, I also care about um, outdoor activities, uh, sports, and good food. All right. So here, this. So uh, presumably, what we're going to see here is a kind of uh, kind of custom version of Copilot uh, that is specifically for vacation planning. So. Uh, hopefully what we're going to see here as we are waiting for a response is a nice little itinerary, uh, you know, pretty basic, uh, but probably based on uh, what I told it. So, you know, a little bit of cultural, but, you know, caring about outdoor activities, sports, and good food. Um, so now it's just asking me uh, questions about when I'm arriving. So I'm just going to say, um, I don't know the details. Please plan the whole trip. All right. So kind of like perplexity, if you've used perplexity, that's one thing I like about Copilot. If it doesn't understand something, it's going to ask you a question to clarify. I guess it is better to do that than to just give you a bunch of you know random information that may or may not be useful to you. All right. So unfortunately, okay, this is interesting. So sometimes, so, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll try this out and I'll get better results. This time I didn't. So it says, I'm sorry, but I cannot plan the whole trip for you. I can only help you with suggestions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say, Please suggest um, 
a good nine-day itinerary based on the information given. All right, so I think uh, Copilot was maybe taking me a little too seriously when I said plan the whole trip, right? Um, I normally don't prompt like that, but when I'm doing things live, I don't like to type a lot, so I just like to try to get to the point. All right, so let's see if this does a little better. All right, here we go. So now Copilot is uh, doing what, you know, probably just should have started with that, but that's okay. So now it's giving me a suggested itinerary. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab. I'm going to let that go here. Uh, we're going to give it a second. Uh, so again, I'm on the free version of Copilot. It's a little slower. Um, not, not that bad, though, uh, you, you know, for the amount of power that you get without having to pay for it. All right, a couple other things that I wanted to pull out. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap this video up with uh, what's new. But there are now plugins, okay? So plugins are much different than what you're used to with ChatGPT plugins. So ChatGPT plugins, or OpenAI, is getting rid of them, I believe, in uh, over the course of March and April. Uh, plugins are going to be gone completely. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how, uh, you know, Microsoft and Copilot may be uh, using plugins. Right now, it's extremely limited, right? So... Uh, it's just search, which is your default, you know, uh, kind of being connected to the web. Uh, Instacart, Kayak, Klarna, OpenTable, Shop, and Suno. So I have Suno enabled. Uh, Love Suno actually had a video. Maybe I'll pop it up on the screen here. Had a Suno on the show. Um, but let's just, I'm going to say uh, using the Suno plugin, and I'm going to say, please uh, create a short song about using AI and make it... Um, I'm going to say um, lo-fi rap vibes. I don't even know if that's like a technical genre of music. All right, so let's see how it works with the Suno plugin. I actually haven't tried the Suno plugin yet on Copilot, uh, so we'll see. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So it says, sure, I've started creating your lo-fi rap song about AI. It'll be available shortly. Thank you for your patience. Um, really cool. If you haven't checked out Suno, I think it's an amazing product. Had uh, their CEO, Mikey, on the show. Uh, he gave us uh, some, some behind-the-scenes look. But there we go. It's already done. So uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and listen, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you how it sounds. All right, so it's actually it's actually really cool. So yeah, here was the uh, here was the words that came up. So uh, yeah, it, I, I mean you saw right there that took like fifteen seconds, not even. You know, I said uh, you, you know create a um, lo-fi rap song about AI, about using AI, and it did a great job. All right, let's check in. Uh, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, it looks like when you uh, I haven't done a lot of testing on this, but when you toggle back and forth. And if you're using another instance of Copilot, it looks like the other instance pauses, which is actually nice because uh, if you do something similar in ChatGPT, uh, using the same account and trying to run two, um, you know, different chats at the same time, it'll actually sometimes break one or both of the chats. So I do like that Copilot um, essentially just kind of pauses or slows one down. So we're not going to wait for this whole uh, itinerary, but it it worked pretty well, right? Um, so that's that's it. That is a high level overview of uh, what's new inside of Copilot. Again, this is the free version of Copilot. The Copilot Pro for twenty dollars a month is much um, is much more powerful. Uh, there's also a notebook, which we're probably going to do a separate uh, review of later, uh, as well as uh, the designer and some things that are new in there. But if you don't know, now you know. And also, hey, if you're using Edge, uh, you can also pop out this little Copilot. Um, kind of bar right here, and you can kind of kind of meta, right? Uh, you can be working on uh, kind of two different um, co-pilot chats at the same time. Uh, all right, I hope this is helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back for more AI in five. Thanks.